Welcome to Street Solar Life. Uh, I hope you have seen the videos related to solar panel and other technologies which was uh, published on our YouTube channels. Uh, uh, I hope many of the people uh, got and will ready same information about how to design the panels and etc. Uh, we want you to understand uh, how the solar panel is supposed to be selected. So that's what we are trying to explain here. Uh, now we are going to see the solar panel selections for the location of uh, it's located in Bhopal and uh, the exact locations will be Katlapura Temple that's located in Bhopal and uh, it's located in Madhya Pradesh state of India uh, so it's near to the Sri Kalika Mandir and uh, Chaurak hospitals so near to that uh, if you go if you google it uh, the exact locations you could be able to see that I'm going to tell you that exact latitude and longitude as well, so we could able to get that information. Uh, just a minute. So that latitude will be 22, 23, sorry, 23.24, and longitude would be 77.41. So that is the exact location. So now we are going to discuss about the solar panels. What will be the uh, calculation for that? Again, we are. Uh, we want uh, you to be sure the sizing is what we are saying that's for the exact location and based on the loads uh, uh, If you are taking the same panel and if you are going far away from this distance putting that then there will be impact on the panel of course Because this entire system is changing uh, So that's what you want to understand uh, about the system how it's supposed to be uh, So now we are going to see that So what's load we have considered here we have taken so what we do is uh, uh, so we used to calculate our daily consumptions of power and then uh, we used to calculate for the standard power for the light load we have not considered any of the high rating like AZ or GRAZ or motor or any other high rating so we have just to kind of consider all the uh, basic loads which are required for the residential even for the some of the commercial applications uh, so we used to calculate these all the things and um, and then we'll come to know the sizings right and then we used to collect all the historic data about the weather conditions for the each locations. Uh, so based on the calculations, we calculate all the skies, temperatures, blah blah. Even the cloudy, clear sky, etc. So a lot of characteristics is there. So when you select the panels, uh, you have to see a lot of characteristics and the engineering calculations has to be there. Uh, you have to do it almost uh, more than 50 character. You can say that. So you have to evaluate uh, and and you have to see the panels. What you are going to select that we have considered the grade one panels could be any of this in the market we have considered the polycrystalline and you have to see the specification of the panel and then you have to compare it with the weather conditions and you have to do the sizings so once you selected the panels and then you have to look into the cabling converter kit like inverters or backup batteries whatsoever and top of that you have to go ahead with the protection level so basically you can uh, 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 make the system so for two years five or ten or twenty whatsoever so it's purely based upon so, uh, how much uh, you are going to spending on that and then how you are going to select the system so and we want you to be clear maybe you may require uh, 2000 kilowatt or uh, 2000 watts of panel maybe you have installed 5000 watts of panels which is not required so that's what we want to optimize the system here basically we are helping all the people so already people's got installed the system you are not sure what unit is going to get that probably you can connect us and many of the people already working working in the uh, panels related to the solar whatsoever uh, you may have any doubts or any concerns on the systems how it's supposed to be probably you can approach to see solar life street solar life at gmail.com so today uh, now we are going to see that uh, uh, what load we have considered here that's a 24 watts uh, uh, load four numbers so it's running for five hours per day and 10 watts loads so total numbers four hours uh, running per day and 100 watts load four number uh, total is running per day 100 watts load one number uh, eight hours running per day 50 watts loads two number total hours running per day and these are loads running for the 100 percent of duty cycles uh, we also consider all the losses uh, which is related to the energies uh, which is generating from the panel uh, when you talk about the panel you have to see a lot of characteristics so even we said in post uh, lost uh, your videos as well uh, so uh, we have considered all the characteristics here this kind of aging so and the panel losses uh, insulations uh, panel, uh, sky radiation etc so according to these calculations uh, so you need to generate almost uh, uh, 2858 units uh, required for the entire year 
so to generate this uh, entire uh, uh, in years for that, that particular locations you yeah. have to go with the panel rating of uh, 3300 wp panel of polycrystalline so uh, here we have considered polycrystalline panels so, so it's pure it depends upon your budget if you want go with the monocrystalline probably you can go ahead with that uh, so by uh, spending the extra or anything so so moreover for uh, in india i think it's a, it could be the polycrystalline could be the budgetary so people will prefer to go with the systems so. So according to these calculations, I said uh, so that's the exact uh, panel rating for that locations. If you are shifting the panel somewhere else, probably you will be having uh, some uh, reading variations as well. Uh, and then, uh, uh, if you are planning to store these energies to the battery, and then you have to see the number of autonomy. So in the sense, how many days you want to go with the backups? It could be a one or two or five, whatever. So based on that, you have to size the battery. When you select the battery as well, you have to see the specification of the battery and then you have to go ahead with the systems. If you are maintaining well, uh, probably the battery is designed for 3 or 5. It may increase based on the performance, like how we are utilizing that. Uh, if you are doing moon charge and discharge frequently, definitely there will be losses in the battery. Uh, that will have an efficiency impact. Uh, uh, for the entire systems so you can um, select the batteries at the beginning stage that will help you a lot to avoid the maintenance cost as well so here uh, as i said uh, just a minute i am just connecting here some calculations yes so here you have to go with the total uh, pieces of batteries to achieve uh, to store these energies for the day autonomy for a day backup for if you are increasing by putting the series and parallel of batteries then you can achieve uh, the number of days as you'd like to go for I hope I have uh, I mean covered all the points here for these locations uh, uh, if you have any concerns probably uh, you can contact us uh, you have to be very careful like if you are putting the panel there and uh, if you are discharging more and uh, there will be a lot of cycling has to be calculated so you have to select the panels accordingly based upon your discharge rate as well so uh, so that uh, you don't have any issue with the entire systems uh, otherwise uh, you have to keep work for repeated leaves uh, that so uh, will have a lot of cost involved at the maintenance point of view too i hope uh, you uh, all the information has been covered here yes panel is covered calculation said yes uh, and then um, panels of course units of course the panels that's correct batteries yeah I think uh, related to the protections levels also you have to be very careful to do the protection secures yeah and we have a team of experts uh, who had uh, many years experience in the global projects also we are guiding to many people uh, uh, for the solar related as well uh, so if you have any concern related to the solar panels the systems uh, for designs and all probably you can put a mail to streesolarlife at gmail.com or uh, we are here to help you thank you for watching this video thanks again